Ah, oh, jeez, I'm kind of hungry. Oh, <laughs> oh there we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man, kind of hungry. Ah, welcome to Ruby. It's R Us. Can I help you today, good sir? Uh, but what do you have here? Perhaps a Ruby special. <laughs> Come freely, it's all yours. I, Just uh, actually, I think I'll I'll go somewhere else. But thank you, <laughs> sir, 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 sir. Oh, I highly insist that you take this Rubis Blaster oh, with you oh, God. right now. God. Oh God, elf, <laughs> elf. <laughs>welcome back to the channel now ladies and gentlemen it is finally here my most requested video of all time and that is of course every fish in sea of thieves we're gonna take a look at every fish in the game we're gonna take a look at all the new updated pricing that dropped with black powder stashes and I'll give a bit of info on where to catch every single fish in the game this is also the grand return of my every something in sea of thieves series uh, that is by far my most popular series up on the channel. The Every Chest in Sea of Thieves video is almost at 200,000 views, which is absolutely insane. So let me know down in the comments what you guys want me to cover in the next video. But for now, this is Every Fish in Sea of Thieves. Now, before we take a look at the very first species, I just wanted to go over some general information about all the fish in the seas. Now, there are 10 separate types of fish in the game, species of fish, and then there's five different variants within each species, which makes a grand total of 50 different types of fish that you can catch. And then on top of that, all 50 fish have a trophy variant as well, which pretty much means that there are 100 separate types of fish that you can catch in Sea of Thieves. It's also important to mention that each uh, species has a rare variant and a nighttime variant also. Alright, so first up, we have everyone's favorite fish species. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't do it. Alright, so first up, we have these splash tails. Now, I'm sure you already know this, but splash tails are quite literally everywhere. You're going to come across these. The most common fish in Sea of Thieves, uh, which is why they have some of the worst prices. So, kicking this one off, we have the ruby splash tail. Now cooked, so that one is going to go for 115 gold, while uncooked it's going to go for 75. And the Trophy Ruby Splash Tail is going to go for 285 gold cooked and 190 uncooked. The second most common fish in the game is the Sunny Splash Tail, and cooked that one's going to go for 225 gold, while uncooked is going to be 150 gold. And the Trophy Sun Sunny Splash Tail is going to go for 565 cooked and 375 uncooked. Here we have the indigo splash tail. Now cooked that one's going to go for 340 while uncooked is going to go for 225 and the trophy indigo splash tail is going to go for 850 cooked while uncooked is going to be 565. Now the rare splash tail is the umber splash tail. Now a cooked regular umber is going to go for 565 while uncooked it's going to go for 375. And a cooked trophy umber splash tail is going to go for 1,410, while uncooked it's going to be 940 gold. The final splash tail is the nighttime variant, which is the sea foam. Now the sea foam is going to go for 225 uh, cooked and 150 uncooked, while the trophy is going to go for 565 cooked and 375 uncooked. All right, so that was every fish in Sea of What? Oh, oh, there's other things that aren't splash tails. Ah, all right. All right, give me a second. All right, next up are plenty fins. Now, plenty fins, you're going to find in the shores of plenty, and they're going to eat earthworms. Now, kicking off this list, we've got the olive. Now, the olive cooked is going to be 340 gold, while uncooked it's going to be 225, and the trophy cooked is going to be 850, while the uncooked is going to be 565. The amber plenty fin is going to sell for 
450 cooked and 300 uncooked, while the trophy is going to sell for 1,125 cooked and uncooked, it's going to be 750. The next plenty fin is the cloudy with the regular cooked cloudy. That one's going to sell for 565 and un uncooked, it's going to sell for 375, while the trophy cloudy is going to sell for 1,410 cooked, while uncooked, it's going to go for 940. The rare variant of the Plenty Fin is the Bone Dust. Now, the cooked regular Plenty Fin Bone Dust is going to go for 4,500 gold. While uncooked, it's going to go for 3,000. And the trophy is going to go for 11,250 cooked, which is a crazy price, and 7,500 uncooked. Finally, the nighttime variant is the Watery Plenty Fin. That one's going to go for 450 cooked and 300 uncooked, while the trophy watery is going to go for 1,125 cooked and 750 uncooked. The next fish is the Ancient Scale. Now you're going to find the Ancient Scale in the Ancient Isles, of course, and you're only going to get these ones if you have leeches on the end of your line. First up is the Almond Ancient Scale. That one's going to go for 340 cooked and 225 uncooked, whilst the trophy is going to go for 850 cooked and 565 uncooked. Next up is the lovely looking Sapphire Ancient Scale. That one's going to go for 450 cooked and 300 uncooked, while the trophy is going to go for 1125 cooked and uncooked it's going to be 750 gold. The next Ancient Scale is the Smoke, which is going to go for 565 cooked whilst 375 uncooked, and the trophy is going to go for 1410 cooked and 940 uncooked. The rarest ancient scale is the bone ancient scale. That one's going to go for 4,500 cooked whilst 300 uncooked and the trophy is going to go for 11,250 cooked and 7,500 uncooked. Lastly we have the nighttime variant which is the Starshine Ancient Scale. That one's going to go for 450 cooked, 300 uncooked and the trophy is going to go for 1125 cooked and 750 uncooked. Next up, moving straight along we have the Wild Splashes. Now the Wild Splashes of course are going to be found in the wilds and you're going to catch them by putting earthworms on the end of your line. The most common one is the Russet, which is going to go for 340 cooked, 225 uncooked, and the Trophy Russet, which is going to go for 850 cooked and 565 uncooked. Next up, we have the Sandy, and in this case, the Sandy is not the rare one. That one's going to go for 450 cooked and 300 uncooked, while the Trophy Sandy Wild Splash is going to go for 1125 cooked and 750 uncooked. The lovely looking Ocean Wild Splash is up next. That one's going to go for 565 cooked, whilst uncooked it's going to go for 375. And the trophy is going to go for 1410 cooked, whilst 940 uncooked. The rare variant of the Wild Splash is the Muddy. Cooked, that one's going to go for 4500. Uncooked is going to go for 300,000. And the trophy cooked is going to go for 11,250. Whilst uncooked, that one's going to be 7,500 gold. The nighttime variant of the Wild Splash is the Coral. That one's going to go for 450 cooked, 300 uncooked. Whilst the Trophy Coral is going to go for 1,125 cooked and 750 uncooked. The final region exclusive fish is the Devil Fish. You're going to find that one, of course, in the Devil's Roar. And they're going to be eating grubs off your line. So make sure you've got grubs when you're fishing for the Devil Fish. First up is the Ashen Devil Fish. That one's cooked. It's going to go for 340. Whilst uncooked, it's going to go for 225. And the Trophy Ashen Devil Fish is going to go for 850 cooked. 565 uncooked. The Seashell Devil Fish is up next. That one's going to go for 450 cooked. 300 uncooked and the trophy variant of course is going to go for 1125 cooked and 750 uncooked. Next up is the lava devil fish that one's going to go for 565 cooked 375 uncooked whilst the trophy is going to go for 1410 cooked and 940 uncooked. The rarest devil fish is the forsaken devil fish 
The regular cooked is going to go for 4,500. Uncooked, that one's going to be 3,000. And the cooked trophy Forsaken Devilfish is going to go for 11,250 cooked. Whilst uncooked, it's going to be 7,500 gold. And finally, the nighttime variant is the Firelight Devilfish. That one's going to go for 450 cooked, 300 uncooked, and the trophy is going to go for 1,125 cooked, 750 uncooked. So that is all the region exclusive fish. We're now going to move on to Isle Hoppers. Now, Isle Hoppers are a bit different to a lot of the other fish in the game because they're found all the, all the different variants are found at individual types of islands. So I've got this bit of a this uh, guide up here. Shout out to Alien Ate the Bunny for creating this over on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for this image here so you can guys can uh, track down your aisle hoppers. But first up, we have the Stone Isle Hopper. Now that one is going to go for 160 cooked and 105 uncooked. And the trophy stone is going to be 400 cooked to 65 uncooked. The moss is going to go for 160 cooked, 105 uncooked also. Just like the trophy variant is going to go for 400 cooked, 265 cooked too. Now the rare variant of the eye hoppers is the raven one. It's a beautiful looking fish. And this one's going to go for 1,575 cooked. And it's going to go for 1,050 uncooked. Whilst the trophy variant is going to go for 3,940 cooked. And that one uncooked is going to go for 2,625 Moving right along is the Honey Isle Hopper. That one's going to go for 160 cooked, 105 uncooked, and the trophy is going to go for 400 cooked and 265 uncooked also. Last but not least for the Isle Hoppers is the nighttime variant, the Amethyst. This one's going to go for 160 cooked, 105 uncooked, and the trophy is going to go for 400 cooked, 265 uncooked. So they are, all the Isle Hoppers are the same prices. Uh, excluding the raven. Moving right along, we are at Pondies. Now, Pondies, you're only going to find these in freshwater ponds, as the name suggests. Really great spot to farm these is at Mermaid's Hideaway. I know that's a lot of people's favorite, but it's a really good place to farm these guys. Our first Pondy is the Charcoal Pondy. That one cooked is going to go for 115 gold, whilst uncooked it's going to be 75. And the trophy one is going to be 285 cooked and 190 uncooked. Next up is the Orchid Pondy. This one's going to sell for 225 cooked and 150 uncooked and the trophy variant is going to sell for 565 gold cooked and 375 uncooked. Next up on the Pondy list we have the Bronze Pondy. This one's going to sell for 340 cooked, 225 uncooked and the trophy cooked is going to sell for 850, while the trophy uncooked is going to sell for 565 gold. The rarest pondy you can find is the bright pondy. Now, a cooked bright pondy is going to sell for 1125, whilst the uncooked will sell for 750. And a cooked trophy bright pondy is going to sell for 2815 whilst the uncooked is going to sell for 1875 gold. Last but not least for the Pondies is the nighttime variant, of course. It's the Moon Sky Pondy. That one's going to sell for 225 cooked, 150 raw, and the trophy one's going to sell for 565 cooked, whilst the uncooked version will go for 375 gold. All right, so we are down to our three final species and these three species are actually the most valuable species. So if you're going to farm any fish, I highly recommend these last three species. Next up, we have the Battle Gills. Now, they're said to bring a bad omen. So you're only going to find these at active skull forts and around uh, the skeleton ships. The first Battle Gill is the Jade. Now, cooked Jade Battle Gill is going to go for 565 gold. Uncooked is going to go for 375. Whilst the cooked trophy is going to go for 1,410. And that one uncooked is going to go for 940. Next up is the Sky Battle Gill. That one's going to go for 675 cooked and 450 uncooked. Whilst the trophy Sky Battle Gill cooked is going to go for 1,690. And that one uncooked is going to go for 1,125 gold. 
our next battle gill is the rum battle gill. That one's going to go for 790 gold cooked. And uncooked, it's going to go for 525. While a cooked trophy rum battle gill is going to go for 1,975 gold. And uncooked, it's going to go for 1,315. The rarest of the battle gills is the sandy. A cooked regular sandy is going to go for 5,625 while the uncooked can go for around 3,750. And the trophy cooked is going to go for 14,065 gold, which is crazy. And the uncooked is going to go for 9,375 gold. The nighttime variant of the battle gill is the bittersweet battle gill. A cooked bittersweet is going to go for 675, whilst the uncooked is going to go for 450. And the trophy cooks can go for 1,690, whilst the uncooked is going to go for 1,125. Moving right along to my personal favourite fish, um, and it's also the most valuable fish to farm, but arguably the hardest fish to farm as well, which is the stormfishes. Now, a cooked ancient stormfish is going to go for 675 gold, whilst the uncooked one is going to go for 450. And a cooked trophy is going to go for 1,690, whilst the uncooked is going to go for 1,125. And obviously the ancient stormfish you're going to find in the storm in the ancient isles. Next up is the shores stormfish. You're going to find this one in the shores of plenty in a storm. And that one's going to sell for 675 cooked. 450 uncooked and the trophy is going to sell for 1690 cooked and the trophy uncooked is going to sell for 1125 gold the wild stormfish is going to be found in the wilds in the storm and that one's going to sell for 675 gold uh, cooked and the uncooked is going to sell for one uh, sorry 450 and the trophy cook is going to sell for 1690 whilst the uncooked trophy is going to sell for 1,125, just like the last three. Now, the rarest stormfish, and in fact, the rarest fish in the game, is also the most valuable fish in the game. Uh, this one is the shadow stormfish. Now, a cooked shadow stormfish is going to sell for 6,750. Uncooked is going to sell for 4,500. But a trophy cooked shadow stormfish is going to sell for 16,875, which is like the second most valuable thing in the game. And the uncooked is going to sell for 1, 000, sorry, 11,250 gold. Finally, for the stormfish, it's the nighttime variant, which is the twilight stormfish. That one's going to sell for 675 cooked and 450 uncooked. Also, the trophy is going to sell for 1,690 cooked, and that one uncooked is going to sell for 1,125. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to our final species of fish, which is the wreckers. Now, you're going to find the wreckers, of course, around shipwrecks, and they're going to eat earthworms. Now. A cooked rose wreck is going to go for 565, whilst the uncooked is going to go for 375. The trophy rose cooked wrecker is going to go for 1410, whilst the uncooked is going to go for 940. The next wrecker is a rather interesting one, as it's not actually the rare, but a lot of people have really struggled to find this one. And the reason why is because the black cloud wrecker can only be found at shipwrecks in the storm. Now, a regular cooked black cloud wrecker is going to go for 790, whilst the young cook is going to go for 525. And a cooked trophy black cloud wrecker is going to go for 1,975, whilst the young cook is going to go for 1,315 gold. Now, the rare wrecker is the snow wrecker. Now, a cooked snow wrecker is going to go for 5,625. And the uncooked is going to go for around 3,750. Also, the trophy cooked is going to sell for 14,065 gold. And uncooked, that trophy snow wrecker is going to go for 9,375. The next wrecker is the sun wrecker. That one's going to go for 675 cooked. And uncooked is going to go for 450. While the trophy cooked sun wrecker is going to go for 1,690. And that one uncooked is going to go for 1,125. 
The very last fish is the night variant of the Wreckers, and that one is the Moon Wrecker. That one's going to sell for 675 gold, whilst uh, that's the cooked version, sorry, and the uncooked's going to sell for 450, whilst the trophy cook's going to sell for 1690 cooked, and that one uncooked's going to go for 1125 gold. So that was every single fish in Sea of Thieves. I know it's a really long one, guys, but there were a lot of fish to cover. Now, I am going to have a link to a spreadsheet down in the description, which is going to have all the prices I've talked about today. And if we did somehow get something wrong, it will be updated down there. I'm also going to have timestamps on each species, just in case you're looking for each uh, price of a certain species of fish. Uh, down in the description but before we end this one I do have to give a huge shout out to my three mods Johnny, Graves and Fitz for helping me out with this one as well as a shout out to Nightmare and Frosty they helped out a lot too this video was a huge amount of work so if you did find it helpful or entertaining or useful or anything whatsoever please show your support for the channel guys drop a like let me know down in the comments uh, what every series you want to see uh, next Saturday as well as tell me what kind of fish you'd like to see added to Sea of Thieves. I for one would like to see a pirate legend fish that can only be fished in the pirate legend hideout. I reckon that would be really really cool. Anyway guys I'm gonna drop it here this has been a huge video I really hope you guys enjoyed this one thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao for now!